Hello, my friends. It's Poet WP here again. Well, the old, malis the old malignant narcissist pussy grabber in chief then come out and proclaimed himself a nationalist. Don't you hate it when people do that? Air quotes. National. You mean a nationalist? You mean like a white nationalist? You mean like a Nazi, you fucking piece of shit? <laughs> yeah. Just like your fucking dad who marched with the Klan. Just like uh, you, you've denied uh, African Americans uh, apartments in your building. And on and on and on. The, the, the Central Park Five. Yeah. Yeah, just like you wouldn't... Uh, <clears throat> you wouldn't say... Nazis are bad people. Because you're a fucking Nazi, evil, fucking antichrist piece of shit, Donald Trump. The shoe fits. Lucky for uh, the good people of this world, you didn't come out right. You're fucking retarded. Satan's angry because this is what he has to work with in the fourth quarter. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Anyone who, people you still support Trump, you think you're a Christian, you're not. You're going to go to hell when you die. Drop the fucking mic. That is the truth. How about that? You know, America, we're wrapped up in pride. Pride is a fucking sin. May I, need I remind you? Uh, you know... Oscar Wilde said, patriotism is a virtue of the vicious. I tend to agree with that. You know, like George Carlin said, you know, you want to you be proud of something, proud of, be proud of something you achieve. I'm proud of my fucking degree in sociology. I'm proud of the fact that I studied karate for over 15 years. Why the fuck would I be proud of some random uh, act of circumstance that I was happened to randomly be born into? I was born an American. I was born white. I identify more with black people. Why the fuck would I be proud about that? About some random fucking shit that just was handed to me by fate. If you want to be proud of something, I don't even believe in pride. I try not to be proud. But if you were going to be proud, proud about something, because it's vanity, that's vanity. But if you were going to be proud about something, why not be proud about something you achieved? Not some shit that you were fucking just happened to be born into. You know? That's George Carlin. It's like a paraphrase of George Carlin. So this son of a bitch comes out and goes, I'm a fucking nationalist. And then, like clockwork, as though that was the cue. Some crazy fucking nutcase Republican sends out, or Republicans, sent out fucking bombs to everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, you Republicans are full of fear and ego and anger and hatred, and that's what motivates you, and self-gain. That's why you're fucking evil. It's real fucking simple. Wake up, dumbasses. I'm just, I'm so disgusted. I am a disgusted American. That's me. And I don't give a fuck. I'm going to speak the truth. And if you don't like it, you can just go away and melt, Snowflake. Uh, yeah, I think it's, you know, I guess that they may just let this bitch run off the rails. It's like a slow motion train crash. None of them have any spines. They're all paid off. Uh, what are you you're just going to crawl in your fucking bunkers as the world fucking burns? Is that what you're going to do? Fucking assholes. <coughs> uh, 25th Amendment. Trump has to be removed from office. It's time for the guys in the white coats to come in with the Valium Thorazine cocktail and carry his ass out on a stretcher, and he's got to go. How much longer? Are you going to let this shit go off the rails? What if these bombs blew up today? 
And the fucking war kicks off. I guess they just don't think it can happen. See, I live in the South. I have, I have to deal with these people every day. Let me tell you something. Ignorant, hateful people are quick to do violence. They fucking attacked me quite a few times. Uh, you know, it's in no one's interest, whether they be Republican or Democrat or whatever in between, to just fucking destroy everything. You playing with this fucking hatred and shit, all this division. Trump is evil. Evil. Fucking evil. You people that still support him at this point, you're not Christians. You think you're Christians, you're going to go to hell. You're supporting someone who is the equivalent of an antichrist. Uh, obviously, you're praying to the wrong God. It's just fucking sad. It's just so pathetic. I, uh... There's, I don't, you know... Where do we go from here? How much longer? What the fuck is wrong with you, Mueller? Get off your fucking ass, bro! Jesus! They Are they just gonna let this shit fucking just go to hell? And I, I mean... We're like this fucking close. You you know how fucking easy this shit could just fall to shit immediately, like in a week? Pretty easily. Take down the... All it would take would be like an EMP strike or a fucking solar flare or... Anything. Fucking power plant go down. It'll all fall to shit. You think Trump's going to be able to handle it? That motherfucker. It's unreal. I can't believe anybody still likes him. He's the worst, most, I could, it's like a, I couldn't have dreamed up a guy this bad. And I'm a writer. It's like, you really got to be brainwashed. Are you just not watching the news? You're just not paying attention? I don't know what the fuck, man. It's it's getting scary. I mean, I'm not really scared. I don't give a fuck. I'm good. But... Just why? Why do you want to be all... Watch that Tucker Carlson debate with Cenk Uger last night. Tucker always looks confused and angry. Fearful. I I just... It's like these people are from another fucking planet. I swear to God. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. It's like... it's, It's like talking to a fucking... Another species... Like someone with a different kind of brain that's not even human. I don't understand. Maybe it's because I'm empathic. And I'm like... uh, Born from compassion. Suffering. I just don't understand it. I don't understand how people can go through their lives with no empathy. They just, they just don't give a fuck. They just don't care about anything unless it affects them directly. Well, that's going to lead you to hell. You're going to go to hell. You can think you're a Christian. You can go to church all you want. You live your life like that, you're going to go to hell. doesn't matter how much you pray to Jesus. And I'm the mystic Christian that is telling you this. With a Buddhist temperament that I follow as a philosophy. I'm a mystic. I'm a poet. I'm a sociologist. I'm an American who is so sick with grief and heartache for my country. 
It makes me wake up every morning and wonder where the fuck I am. Because it ain't America. It's Trumpistan. Um, this is karma, baby. We're reaping what we sow. I guess there's no way around it. Don't, don't act in anger. Find compassion. Find mercy. Don't you lash out. It's a new era now. Things are going to be different. Things are happening quickly. It's mirror season, as they've been saying. You're going to draw what is you, what you reflect, what you project, reflect, feel. What's to, it's going to come on you. It's going to come into you. It's going to... I wish there was a better way to explain it. You know, and I go out in my daily life and shit's getting more weird and tense. Because I live in the South. And when you're empathic and you, like, you, like one out of ten people you catch are just really fucked up. And dark and disturbing energy. It's difficult for me. That's why I kind of live a life of a hermit a lot of times. It's like I'm very polite and kind and cordial. Light, dreamy, when I'm out in public, you know. I'm not all ranting and raving. This isn't my attitude out there, you know. This is my attitude on the mat when I'm doing a video like this that's kind of heated. But you come across these people and, uh, you know, like one out of ten or sometimes more, depending on where you're at. And their auras are just so fucking sad and fucked up. It's very disturbing. It's not like that, though. When I go to New York City, it's rare that you find somebody who's got a sad, disturbing, you, you know, ooh, icky, ooh, you know, that bothers me. It's disturbing. An aura. Most people, I can't read everybody's aura. <laughs> a lot of people have mental blocks, mental walls, emotional sort of shields around them. Then you engage in conversation and they open up a little. And you can see it a little. You can sense it. At least I can. But, but some people are real easy for me to pick up on. Others are almost impossible for me to pick up on. And most people are just relatively normal, you know. Energy, you know. Just kind of a neutral, balanced sort of energy mostly. You know, maybe they're having a bad day or whatever kind of. The vibe, you know. It's just a vibe. It's not like I read their mind or something. It's just a vibe. A real strong vibe for me. This is an empath. But. Man, I tell you. That one in ten. Oh my god. It's so disturbing. And they're usually. Wearing some. Stereotypical looking shit. They usually have. Confederate flag on their vehicle or something, and are wearing mossy oak camouflage and a fish hook in their bent build hat, and they're rednecks. Or you know they fit the, they fit the part. And there's a lot of these people, most of these dark energy people, like there's a bunch of different types. Or there's like the introverted sort of nerdy. Uh, anti-Semitic sort of looking down, but always angry kind of. There's like different weird little subgroups. And of course, the fucking soldiers. Oh my God. So many bad, disturbed energies of those guys because they've killed so many goddamn people. Like a lot of infantrymen. There's some dark, dark energies in the bar or some nights when there's full of drunk people. So dark. 
So I get drunk and the empathic shit gets stronger. But people have to let go of their hate and fear. Fear, hate, anger. It's really simple stuff. It's not some grand enlightenment shit. just disappointing and it's like we're gonna turn that corner eventually but two steps forward one step back you know anyway I think I'm gonna read this piece here I'm this is a long damn video this is a little bit of prose I wrote a long time ago in America almost everyone has been brainwashed into believing that when you go overseas and fight in another man's war or when you invade another man's country that you're serving your country. In fact, you're actually fighting the men who are defending their country. You're not defending your country. You may be fighting alongside another group within a country against an opposing group, or you may just be fighting to expand your country's empire and benefit the war profiteers. Well, that's what we've been doing in the Middle East for like 17 years. War economy. Just won't give it up. You know, a lot of them want to just stay there for hundreds of years until they conquer it all. What is that like? America to the Middle East version? Is that what you want? In the wars, I'm an anti-war activist. We should bring all the troops home. Let the Middle East fend for themselves, if you ask me. That's a bold notion. Why not give it a try? We haven't tried it yet. I think the only way we should be in a war, I think wars should be contained locally by the, by the surrounding. When something pops off, the surrounding countries jump in and defend the country that's being attacked by an invader. I mean, it's only logical, right? You don't just say, oh, there's a war over here. Oh, America, let's pull up all the wars. Let's see which one we like. Oh, we like this one. We can make a lot of money at this one. Let's go to that one. That's what they're doing. These are wars of choices. Just, we don't have to fucking be there. They're just there to make money. I mean, this is it's really that simple. Killing for money. And our tax dollars pay for it. And it's a sin. Not very Christian. I've been disgusted over this for, since 9 11. Because I'm empathic. And I don't want my tax dollars going to killing people. Fairly simple concept. Morally happens to make a lot of goddamn sense. You know what I'm saying? Food for thought. Check you next time.